We want to turn to COVID and the impact that that has been having on the labor force. It's no secret that women have been disproportionately affected. We heard from U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen last week saying that she is worried about permanent scarring from the crisis. So we want to talk to Wendy Diamond. She's a founder and CEO of Women's Entrepreneurship Day organization. And Wendy, this is an issue that we have really focused on time and time again here at Yahoo Finance, and it certainly is getting more and more attention. But what are some of the structural changes do you think that are necessary in order to to advance women in the workplace and address this issue that we're now facing. Right. When you look at it, you know, it's women and minorities have seriously been the hardest hit. And what we have to do is really look at how do we invest more in women? And what we just saw lately uh, with the new PPP with Biden, they just recognized this and they set aside a billion dollars literally for 70 for that they companies with 70 percent women owned, right? And of color. So I think that, that we have to look at more ways we can invest in women. And also when you look at when in investing in women, you know, when women earn money, 90% of that money goes to educate their children and provide for their families, right? And when you look at that, it uplifts the entire community. So when I, you know, when we launched Women's Entrepreneurship Day in 2013, only 1% of women founders were receiving a funding. Now that's only 2%. So when you look at the statistics, 2% out of 100, that is extremely low. And we need to really look at that because when you see women are like at the forefront right now, you just saw, you know, uh, Bumble just launched, Whitney, who founded that company, she just launched her company at a billion dollars. Women are really making game changers right now. And what we need to do is figure out ways that we can invest more in women. Yeah, we just had Whitney on our show, by the way. But one of the t issues that we've been tracking here, Wendy, is uh, that I've been tracking personally because it's interesting to me. I'm a markets guy. I like to trade. Women make better traders over the long run. They tend to have fewer drawdowns. Uh, they tend to be more long-term oriented. Does any of this psychology fit into your understanding and the work that you've been doing to promote women's issues? Well, absolutely, because also like, think about women on boards, right? When when companies have 30% women, companies are more profitable. And when you, and all of the statistics actually show this. So thinking further on, you know, what what we should do is recognize women. We have to support women. You know, it's Women's History Month this month, and when you think about it, 10% of all statues in this country are women. You know, they just they just recognize. Uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg with a statue in Brooklyn. So when you look at it, when it comes into finance, when it comes into every aspect, we need to really think about choosing women and investing women. So then when, you, when we talk about addressing this, because we can also go down the path that only 2% of VC money is allocated towards female founders. So is it a pipeline issue? And, and I, I guess, we talk about it all time and time again, but in terms of addressing this, what are certain steps that can be taken right now so we could actually see more movement in those numbers? I think giving more women access to capital and being able to provide them funding, because when you think about it, you're right, it is a pipeline because there's not as many entrepreneurs as women, right? But there are so many, but there are not that many opportunities that we can invest in them. So what you're seeing a lot lately, like you just saw Rethink Impact just raised $180 million fund to invest in women. You've got Goldman Sachs investing a billion dollars towards women and, and uh, minorities. So when you think about it, if we can look at all these different companies coming through, we're gonna find more opportunities for women. I think you're gonna see a bigger change. And if you see like in 2013, there were very few funds focused on women. Now you've got all the biggest companies in the world focused on women and minorities. Well, I want to ask you about micro lending. This is a topic that kind of came on my radar about a dozen years ago, really took off in developing countries. Technology has really changed since then. Uh, how is that changing? Like modern technology, is it disrupting the field of micro lending? Is it making it easier? How is that affecting the space? Well, certainly there's a lot of opportunities for micro lending now. Uh, you've got Kiva where people can, you know, everybody can just contribute to supporting founders with micro loans. You know, when women, receive microloans, they paid those loans back at a 98% rate. So that is like, you know, we won't even discuss the men, the men percentage. But, you know, and again, when I said earlier, when those women are paying those back at a 98% rate, but they're also investing back into the community and educating their children, which makes a huge impact. Also, when you think about it, um, Gurmeen, which is, you know, he won a Nobel Peace Prize, uh, Mohammed Yunus for microloans in Bangladesh, 
They launched in America that's now run by Andrea Young, you know, from Avon and on the board of Apple. Uh, she has been doing an amazing job here in the United States with microloans. And what is a microloan? A microloan is $1,000, right, where they can now start their own small business. And with our foundation, Women's Entrepreneurship Day organization, we partnered with Opportunity International. They have are one of the, they have funded millions and millions of microloans, and we just funded a thousand impoverished women uh, last like two weeks ago uh, to recognize the fact that it is important to start from the ground up because if we can bring awareness to the ground up, we can really create change in the world. Wendy Diamond, great to speak with you, founder and CEO of Women's Entrepreneurship Day Organization.